What's up? Hi, this is Blake Angelus from Yamaha Corporation America. Here, uh, what are we looking at? We're looking at Bedroom Producers Blog, yes? So, um, I'm here to show you the new CP series from Yamaha. There's a CP73 and a CP88. The only difference is the 73 note balanced hammer action on this very much feels like the Motif XF or Montage. Um, at 28 pounds, we kind of position this for maybe the gigging keyboardist because it's lightweight. The CP88 up here is 88 note graded hammer action with synthetic ebony and ivory key tops. It has wooden action and it, it has what we call the GH3 sensor so you can restrike the note before it comes off of the keystroke like a grand piano. So because of its weighted action and its gradedness, we kind of position this for the discerning pianist. But other than that, both keyboards are exactly the same inside. All the same, all the same in and out and everything. So let's talk about the front panel. Basically, the story of this instrument runs right from here to here. Over here on this side is where I can recall settings. We call this a live set for recalling things. But after you go through here, you have switches that turn on and off the sections. It's a one-to-one -one interface. That means that one knob does one function only. So it vibes like an old, like a Rhodes or a, or a Wurlitzer or a CP80, like our electric grand. So I'll play some of the sounds for you. This is the natural CFX. So this piano has a very big Strong fundamental is what we like to call this piano. Very pure piano, very good for recording and all sorts of stuff. But the thing I love about this piano is that it also is very, very expressive. Now I want to show you something here. I'm going to switch to the Bosendorfer piano, but it, I switched to that piano. Here's the Bosendorfer, but you notice it didn't cut off the previous piano sound. So this piano has a lot of seamless sound switching on board. That's the Bosendorfer. The last piano, or the second last piano I'll play, is the C7. So one of the cool things about this instrument is that it is OS updatable. That means every six months, we will have new OS updates that will add new sounds. And at the NAMM show, we're starting with OS version 1.1, which has a C7, probably the most recorded piano in history, and a new Rhodes called the 67RD, that is a local uh, instrument that's rented out in Hollywood and in Los Angeles that's a, just an absolute vintage Rhodes. And then there's also a Wurlitzer that's our sound designer's personal Wurlitzer that's a perfect Wurlitzer 200 piano. So I'll play the C7, and what I like about the C7 is that it is also very, very expressive, but it has the ability to really cut if I'm playing things like gospel music. Really good cutting sound. So I really like that piano as well. The last piano I'll play is the upright. This is a U1 and it has a very, it's a character U1. It has a lot of a played in feel. It sounds like it's been in the studio for a little while and it has a very organic, very, very nice sound. Love that sound it just gets right up in there love it so the other thing that's cool about this i could recall a sound over here but i can also just turn on a section like this so this is the road section in here lots of cool sounds in here and i'm actually going to pull up some of my own personal sounds in here by going up to where my stuff is oh and it's not up there hold on one moment <laughs> Oops. Hey, you can watch what I'm doing here. So because we have a lot of people coming in and out, they load in their sound. So I'll load in my sound, and that's another thing you can do with this menu here. Menu, file, and I load up my own backup file. Touch load, there's NAM 2019. Load all, boom, my sounds are in here now. This is my instrument now, so that is very cool. So now I can move on to some of the road sounds here. So here's the 73 RD that I just pulled up here. And this is over in this section. I'm going to play this. So you just heard that without the preamp on. 
There's a drive circuit right here. This is like a stomp box section and a preamp section like you'd want on an electric piano. So here's that sound with, with a drive off. Now with the drive on. And if I want a lot of drive, I can just turn up that circuit. My stomp box style effects, I get auto pan, tremolo, ring modulator, touch wah, pedal wah in the top one. But I can turn on things like a phaser in here. Here's a VCM phaser. I'll play some of the whirlies for you as well. So put the tremolo on here so you have that whirly and I'll play three of them right in a row. A warm, a bright, and then the one that we've added in OS version 1.1. So here's the first one. Here's the bright. Here's the new one that we added in version 1.1. Big bark in the low end like that. So the last thing I'll show here is kind of how the effects work. And this is something I love about this. Let me go all the way up here to the CFX loop layer is what it is here. So with this one, I'm gonna build a kind of a cool loop. You'll see what I'm doing. And basically, in this effects section, I have the delay on. When I have this on, I'm just controlling the piano. So I have it turned all the way down. But the other one here, I've turned it all the way up with feedback and time all the way up. Same thing with the subcategory. And if I wanted to do all of them, I could just turn this on here. And then I could affect all of them. But in this case, I want nothing on the piano and delay on the other two. Now check this out, I'll build a kind of a cool loop here. It's pretty fun how this works. Let me put my headphones on for this. in the loop and I can play over the top of what I've just built here or I can add that to the loop if I want to and there's cool kind of glitchy effects as well pretty cool again the whole point of this instrument is the one-to-one -one interface it makes it very, very easy to in, in interact with and to change things without getting yourself out of the music. Very cool. The last thing I'll show you is there's XLR balanced outputs. There's quarter inch outputs as well that are active simultaneously. These go to a mixing console without the use of a direct box. These can go to your personal monitor system, but they're both active. You have two pedal switch pedal inputs, two uh, continuous controllers, FC7 style expression pedal inputs here. These are assignable, the sustain pedal is the same pedal input obviously. You also have a USB 2 host port over here. What this does is it gives you two channels of audio to the computer, two channels of audio returned from the computer. So you can take this gig with a single uh, USB cable and 
play a virtual instrument and monitor both the audio and MIDI and control it. You can also use our Sound Mondo social ser sound sharing service, soundmondo.com, where you can upload your own sounds for your CP and download sounds from other users or artists. So that's basically it. The CP is also solid aluminum construction, but still lightweight. So great new product from Yamaha. Um, thank you very much for watching. This is Blake from Yamaha. Thank you.